what do I do if I want to take this progress bar and I want to set the value from zero to 100? Well, there's a few different options. The first option is to just get in the ready function. So we're going to say in the ready function, we're going to say self dot value equals 100. And then click play, it'll automatically just go to 100. And this happens before we can even see it. It'll change it from zero to 100 like that instantly. Now what happens if we want to animate this? So let's say we're taking damage. This is our health bar and we want to take damage and we want it to subtract a certain amount. Well, we don't want it to just right away. We want it to kind of animate a little bit. And a very good way to do that is using tweens. So tween is no longer a node uh, in Godot 4. However, we can still use it and create it. So the way we do this is by saying variable equals get tree dot create tween. This is also a good way uh, to create a timer. We can say timer equals get tree dot create timer. So you can create timer and tweens now, which is awesome. Uh, you always could do this, but this is now only the only way to uh, use tweens. So in our tween, there are a bunch of different things we can do. Uh, so there's tween property. This will allow us to tween or animate a property. The property that we're going to tween is essentially the value. The value is, it, while it may look like a string, that's the actual thing that we're going to tween. So we're going to animate from our current value, so value, which is going to be zero, all the way to 100 in three seconds. So it's going to take three seconds to do that. And then we're, the self is telling us what thing we're tweening, which is the self, the progress bar. And if you want to double check that you're doing this right, what you can do is hit control and click tween property, and it'll pop up your document for the tween. You can also find it some other way during in the documents online, hopefully eventually once it's out. And this will give you a much better description of how to do this in other things. So this is a sprite position. Um, there's a bunch of other functions that are very helpful. Tween property is just one of the only ones. So if you scroll to the top and scroll down a little bit, you'll see tween property. There's also tween callback. This will allow us to do something on a callback. So once the sprite is cube freed, then, or once the uh, tween is finished, what do we want to do? Well, I want to queue free, right? So there's a bunch of different things you can do. Um, tween kill, abort the previous animation, as you can see. And here we go. We have a bunch of other functions that uh, are, are very useful. There's interpolate value. That's also very useful. Um, this can allow us to have an initial value and I believe a final value. I think delta value is the one. So this is a very good documentation you can read through, and I definitely recommend you use it. Um, uh, and then we can also set the trans, which is uh, basically the animation that we're going to use, or the speed almost, right? So trans is just one of them. There's also trans like uh, bounce. I, I've used that one a few times. It's a bit weird, but it can be useful. Uh, there's cubic. I really like that one. Elastic is okay. Uh, but linear and quad are probably the most uh, common ones used. So I would recommend trans uh, linear. So now if we play. It'll take us from 0 to 100 in a nice, smooth animation. And that is how we use Tween. Hopefully that is helpful to you guys. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, go subscribe, go follow my Twitch. I have a Patreon down below as well. Uh, and definitely join my Discord down below. And I, will, I hope to see you guys there. Bye-bye.